This week's parasha, parashat Emor, starts with the following. Emor el b'nei Israel ve'amarta alehem. Speak to the children of Israel, Hashem tells Moshe, and say to them. Speak to them and say to them. It's repetitive. Why would the Torah say two words, one after the other, which seem to be the exact same thing? Especially that the Torah is very precise in its choice of words. Rashi answers the following. Lehazhir gidolim al ktanim. What the Torah is telling to Moshe, speak to the Jewish people, i.e. the adults, the Amar Talim, is that the adults should then go on and transfer, pass on the information to their children. So the double use of the word to speak, one is to the adults, one is to the kids. Simple. But upon reflection, we will notice that Rashi's choice of words is amazing because within his choice of words, he's teaching us two great educational tips how to pass on information to our kids and make sure that they take it on board. The, the word Rashi uses, lehazhir, lehazhir means to warn. But in Hebrew, lehazhir also means to shine, from the word zohar, teaching us that when we pass on a message, we need to speak up to our kids, we need to show them that they shine. Many times parents get upset with their kids and they knock them, they tell them, why are you so bad? How could you behave in such a way? And so on and so forth. We must remember when a child misbehaves, it's temporary. It's not who he is. So a parent never should speak to the child and shine him. Say, you're a great kid. You're amazing. You do all such amazing stuff. It's unbefitting the way that you behave in comparison to who you really are. That's the first tip. The second tip is, Gidolim al ktanim. Big over young. What Rush is actually telling us is, the best way that kids take a message is when they see their parents role modeling. A young child, when he sees an older person behaving, that's what he'll copy, that's what he'll mimic. You know, I remember when my kids were taking things to kindergarten, it was called show and tell. I think that really what we're saying over here is show and then tell. A parent needs to show an example and then he can tell his kids. That is why we say in the Shema Israel, the Torah tells us in regards to education, it says, Alevavecha. What I tell you should be upon your heart, and only then does it say, Veshinanta Mevanecha, you shall teach this to your kids. And that's what Rashi is telling us. Let's hear Gidolim al Ktanim. First, make sure that you as an adult behave in such a way, and then your kids will watch you, and they will do exactly as you do. And I tell parents in the community when they say, Rabbi, what should we do? Our kids are not listening to us, they ignore what we say. And I tell them, Don't worry about what your kids are listening or not. Worry that they are watching you. Rashi is telling us this simple tip. The best way to impart education on our kids is number one, let us hear, shine them, make them big, big them up, show their beautiful side. And number two, you be the role model. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom.